Hello my friends, welcome back to another edition in our CSEC exam pass paper questions and solutions. Now in the previous two videos we had looked at question 9 part A and part B. So in this video we'll be answering part C. Now in part C we had a speed time graph to, to, to answer a few questions on. So just quickly let's get into it. Um, here it states the speed time graph below not drawn to scale shows the three stage journey of a racing car over a period of 60 seconds. Now here we have the diagram. On our y-axis here we have speed in meters per second and on our x-axis, the horizontal line here, we have our time in seconds. Okay. Now it says that during the first stage of the journey, the car increased its speed from 0 meters per second to 12 meters per second in x seconds. So we don't know how how many seconds it took the car to increase its speeds from 0 to 12 meters per second okay and but however during that time the acceleration of the car was um, 0 0.6 meters per second square acceleration is in meters per second square so let's just pull this up a bit and see the questions that they're asking us to answer based on the information that they have given to us okay let's just pull this over a bit now quickly here they're asking in part one to calculate the value of x so part one um, as I've had it there already well basically here um, we know that since they have given us, they are asking us to calculate the value of x here. And x is on our x-axis. Okay, this value of x that I'm circling in purple there on my x-axis. We don't know the time. They are asking us to find the time in seconds that the car took to accelerate at 0 0.6 seconds right there. That we have right there. Okay, guys. So basically, um, from earlier lessons, we would have learned that um, acceleration, and I'm going to put ACC for short, acceleration is equal to the gradient of a line. Okay, so if when working with a speed time graph and they ask you to find the acceleration of a, of a car or an object um, that's basically you're finding the gradient of the line so in the first stage um, and really to be more specific we're finding the gradient of this line here the first stage so from zero here in the corner up to here this first diagonal line downward sloping from right to left so let's get into it now the acceleration we can just by substitution state now that if the acceleration that they gave us was 0 0.6 meters square meters meters per second square so I can say acceleration is equal to 0 0.6 okay and basically this is equal to the gradient of a line and the gradient of a line is equal to up over across as we have already stated in earlier lessons so what's the up let's just figure that out if you notice we're finding the gradient of the first stage so this line here and I've marked it here okay from zero up to this point here that I've marked in black now basically my up would be x here where x is going up there that it's like a right angle triangle okay that's my right angle triangle so my gradient is up over across so down here would be my across and that would be my up so basically I'm saying let's substitute 0 0.6 let me change that color quickly so what I'm saying here is 0 0.6 0 0.6 is equal to my up which is 12 if you notice from the base here 0 going straight up to that point if you should come across I have a 12 so I'm saying that's 12 over my across which is X we don't know the across okay guys so basically I have a fraction here 12 over X I can just simply turn that into a fraction and by transposition we could just simply cross multiply so I could say 12 times 1 okay and I could say 0 0.6 times X okay that's what we're doing so 0 0.6 times X would give me 0 0.6 of X so I, ha I would have here 0 0.6 X of X and that is equal to 12 times 1 is equal to 12. Now, what is 0 0.6 here doing to x? It is multiplying. So I must do the opposite of multiplication, which is division. So I have 0 0.6 divided by dividing that side and also 0 0.6 is dividing this side. So we know that by intuition that those two would cancel out. So therefore, we are left with x 
must be equal to 12 divided by 0 0.6 and if you should take out your calculator and work that out you would get 20 seconds okay and remember now your your uh, units are very important so here on my x-axis if you notice times time in seconds so the car basically took 20 seconds to accelerate at a rate of 0 0.6 meters per second square okay so that's part one let's look at part two quickly so let's just split the screen here now in part two they're asking us what is the gradient of the graph during the second stage okay and here they're asking us to explain in one sentence what the car is doing during this stage and that's another two easy marks now first they ask us to find the gradient of the line in the second stage so really what we're focusing on now my friends we're focusing on the second stage this line here and see I'm marking off that point and I'm also marking off that point so in between here they're asking us to find the gradient of that line and if you notice that's a horizontal line okay so for part two in finding the gradient this is the line that they get that they're asking us to find the gradient of and it's a horizontal line now if you notice what is happening with this line we we do have an across okay because the line is going across some point and it's going across actually it's going across five and, and that would be five because we have worked out x to be 20 so it, if you notice here it stopped at 25 okay so it would be going across five seconds since the seconds or x axis is representing so here i would have a five seconds my across would be equal to five seconds okay but if you notice what is happening it's not going up we don't have any up there is no up on this line okay and as we have said there is no up it's not going up no up we have no up if you notice the first stage line the line in the first stage we had an across and we had an up but with the second line now it's a horizontal line so basically the gradient which can be denoted as m we have zero up okay there is no up over five seconds you know zero divided by by anything um is really zero so the gradient of a horizontal line is zero so you can therefore state that the gradient the gradient is zero let me put it here not sure if you can see that over there so let's just put it here so the gradient of the line in the second stage is zero now here in part two they ask us to explain in one sentence what the car is doing during this stage now basically in a speed with a speed time graph okay a horizontal line um, basically say it's saying that the car is maintaining a constant speed at that, at that stage in its journey okay meaning that the car from 20 seconds to 25 seconds let's say the car started at zero and when it reached 20 seconds okay it accelerated its speed was increasing the speed wasn't constant here it kept increasing from five to six to seven uh, meter uh, meters per second then it when it reached after 20 seconds now let's say the car maintain a speed of just for argument's sake 30 meters per second okay and it would it would be driving for five seconds at that speed so the speed is constant so we can say in the second stage the speed of the car remain constant okay so basically um since uh the the car maintain a constant speed in that stage we can say then in the second stage the car maintained maintained a constant constant speed okay so that that's your final answer for part two and that's a two marks now for part three they're asking us to calculate the distance traveled by the car on the third 
third stage. Now, when working with a distance um, times, sorry, a speed times graph rather, uh, speed times graph, um, if they ask you to calculate the distance, the distance traveled on a speed time graph, really you're finding the area underneath the graph, okay? So basically that's what we're doing. We're going to be finding the area under the graph and the area under the graph would be equal to the distance traveled, okay? Now basically what we have here, um, we have a right angle triangle. So I'm going to find the area of a right angle triangle and we should know now by intuition or from past lessons that the area of a right angle triangle having the, the height and it, basically we have the height because the height would be 12 okay from here 0 here up to 12 so my height is 12 and we would have the base the base is 60 minus 25 let me change the color for that my height is 12 okay 1 2 good and my 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 base would be 60 minus 25 Oh, which makes sense, okay, because from 0 to 60 and we have 25 here, so I'm subtracting 25 from 60, which would leave me with this right here, so that would be equal to 35, okay? So what I'm saying, half base times height, all right? So it's half base times height, so let's get that out quickly, half my base times my height, that's the, my area for a right angle triangle. So I'm saying I'm taking a half of my base, which is 35 times my height, 35 times my height, which is 12. So we know that a half of 12 is six and we can multiply six times 35. Let, let me just pull this up a bit. And six times 35 is equal to 210. And that would be in, uh, meters okay because it's meters per second so it's 210 meters units are very important that the that the uh, car had traveled on in the third stage because because remember we're not calculating it for the entire entire journey it's just for the third third stage which is the shaded region okay guys it's that easy uh, feel free to ask your questions if you're still not sure or make a comment or rate the video okay bye bye